What's going on, everybody? It's your all-time favorite blogger, Pete McPherson here from Do You Even Blog. And this past week, I have helped no fewer than seven or eight people switch over from MailChimp to MailerLite. I truly believe MailerLite is one of the best email marketing platforms for new bloggers specifically. I use ActiveCampaign, and I've used Drip and ConvertKit and MailChimp in the past too, but MailerLite's the best for new bloggers, especially those under 1,000 subscribers. So let me switch over, and it's going to be super, super, super quick. Here's what we're going to cover. First, if you don't have a mailer account at all, you're going to need the following when you set one up. An email address associated with your domain name. If your domain is PeteMcPherson.com, which is the example I'm going to use, you will need a Pete at PeteMcPherson.com or hello at or whatever. Right? You can do this in cPanel, or if you use Bluehost, it's actually in your Bluehost panel. I'm not going to walk through how to set one of those emails up, but you can do it for free if you have a shared hosted website, like pretty much all of us at this point. Uh, so you'll, you will need that in order to verify your domain name. I believe there's one other thing I wrote down. Oh, just one more thing. Of course, if you are importing from a MailChimp, You'll need to go into MailChimp and export all your subscribers to a CSV file, and then you can actually upload them in MailerLite. I've already logged in. I just created a new account. You go to Subscribers, Add Subscribers, and then it'll ask you some stuff, and then you import the CSV file. It'll show you a bunch of columns. You'll select which one to map to the email thing, or if you have first names and you need to do first name as a field, you can do that as well. So I'm not going to go over the rest of that in this video. We're going to quickly go through this process right here, how to install form and deliver a freebie. So I created a massively valuable freebie. It is literally called some fancy PDF. And this is what I'm going to be delivering in this little review thing. So we're going to have a freebie done, done and done. Create MailerLite account done and done. I've already done it. It's really not that hard, especially if you have your email ready, like I mentioned up here. Once you have that, you'll answer a few questions about what you're going to send your list, weekly newsletters, marketing emails, product offers, that's that point. You just need to tell them what you're going to send them, as well as how do I get people on the list? It'll ask you that question as well. And you'll just say, like, I collect subscribers via my opt-in form on my website or something like that, right? Just be honest and answer the question quite literally. So, okay, I've already got my MailerLite account, right? Uh, these two steps, these three steps, can go in any sort of order, really. I uh, actually got to create the form first, but a group. What is a group? So MailerLite has one list, right? You have a list of subscribers, all of your subscribers, and you can segment them in a few different ways, segment and groups. Specifically, groups is kind of how I would suggest you segment your subscribers per opt-ins. Let's say I had two opt-ins. One is this super fancy PDF, and another one is an online course or something like that, an email course maybe. I would create two different groups for those things. They would all be quote unquote grouped under all subscribers in my list. And when I go to email them, I could email all of my subscribers, but you will have to uh, specify a group when you create an opt-in form for your freebie. You can do that before, or you can do that after. I'm going to do it after. I'm just going to go ahead and in, uh, create a form in here. I'm going to do an embedded form, but if you just wanted like a little landing page, as in you didn't actually want to put it on your website, you wanted them, MailerLite, to host the landing page for the opt-in, totally cool. Totally cool. It has some nice little design things in there too. Very similar to how ConvertKit does things. I'm not going to do that right here. I'm going to embed this on my own site. So I'm going to go to embedded forms. You can see I already kind of went through this process, but I'm going to do a new one. Create embedded form. I'm going to say some awesome lead magnets, right? Save and continue. It's going to ask me to do a subscriber group. It's probably going to choose one by default, actually. I think when you first create a MailerLite account, it will automatically create one with the name of your brand, right? The D-Y-E-B thing. Mine, okay, there it is. Select subscriber groups. Do you even blog? I didn't actually create this one. It kind of did it automatically. You can see I have zero subscribers there. Uh, so I'm just going to choose this now. I'm going to do the automatic one. But if you already have one, I would create one that said, like, some awesome PDF or XYZ email course or ABC checklist, whatever the name of your segment is for this particular opt-in form. Got it? Cool. That's what I would do. You can create those, I believe, under subscribers. We saw that a second ago, subscribers, groups. You can probably just go to add new, I'm guessing, groups. You can see the default one right here. Yep. Create new group. I would do that. 
create a new group, name it whatever you want to, and then that'll be available right here. But for now, I'm gonna hit save and continue. And I'm on fiber internet, but it's not going fast enough. For my own taste, it's really not. This is super annoying. Okay, so stay with me. Stay with me, folks. It's really not that hard. Newsletter! Let's change this around a little bit. Want my super secret fancy PDF? Question mark. Sign up below and I'll make you a billionaire. Overnight. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, so there is my opt-in form. Again, I could preview it if need be. I can actually, oh, let's hit save. Save it up. I could change the form design over here. I'm gonna do, leave it as the default inline content on my page, but let's just play it around right here. I could do a card. That would allow me to put an image over the top of it. Horizontal, I kind of like the way that looks actually. That looks kind of nice. Let's do that, choose. Uh, let's change the button color to my all time favorite brand color, purple. There we go, I'm gonna hit save. You can do a page background too if you were doing uh, whatever, I don't need that. You can do the settings as much as you would like. Uh, you could also do a confirmation checkbox. Uh, you could do some segmentation fields, that's advanced stuff, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Custom success page to redirect people to. You could actually just deliver your PDF this way. You could point people to a separate P, uh, a page, thank you page, if you will, if you're tracking via Facebook ads or something like that too, and just link them to a PDF. You could do that, but I'm actually gonna send it out via a separate email because I'm fancy like that. So, saves, I'm gonna hit next, and I'm gonna hit publish. I'm gonna go through this process really quick. I can go ahead and tell you the next step, let me switch over to my notes here, is creating a very two-step automation, very simple, that actually delivers a separate email with the freebie, because that's how I wanna do it. And this is taking a little while, so let's go ahead and do that in the background. I'm gonna to go to automations, I'm gonna click new automation, create a new workflow right here. I might even have a, nope, this will be my first one. All right, so it looks like this is pretty well set up. Look, it even gave me a landing page. Isn't that cool? So I could actually, no need to embed it at all. I could literally go here, this is an incognito window, and there it is. So if I wanna put more copywriting, I could do it, and I could just share it with people right there. Amazing. Here's how we'll copy and paste into our blog. But so far, so good, right? But now I just got to deliver it. Deliver it. You can also change around the confirmation email with this double opt-in feature right here. If you wanted to do that, you certainly could. You come in here and edit this and do some other stuff. But I'm gonna do it via separate workflow. I'm actually gonna turn this off. Or maybe if you want, you could probably do this as well. But you could also link to the PDF right from here. You could do that if you wanted to. I'm gonna do a separate one just because I wanna show you the automation process, but you could actually do that right here in the confirmation email area. I'm gonna discard the changes, go back here. Set up a workflow trigger. First of all, I'm gonna name the workflow deliver fancy PDF. Actually, I like to do a little naming convention, so I put probably put freebie and then dash. Freebie, dash, fancy PDF. Freebie, dash, course. Freebie, dot, whatever, right? Set up a workflow trigger. I'm gonna do when somebody joins a group. I'm gonna select my group. This would be the individual unique group that you set up in the previous step, right? You can also create a new group from here if you wanted to. Uh, and then I'm gonna hit save. Hang on a second. <coughs> Woo, need some water. So when somebody joins this group, what do I want them to do? I want to send them an email immediately with the PDF. Subject, I'm gonna do, here's your thingy. Uh, who's it from? It's from me. Pete, it's from my email. Email content, let's go to design email. It'll open it up. Now here's an important part. I wanna deliver this PDF. You can't host it on MailerLite. You can't like literally attach anything, right? You can't attach a PDF in most email marketing things. You can do it in some, but uh, you can't do it right here. So you actually have to link to it. I'm gonna upload the PDF to my blog. Here's my fancy PDF. Upload it right here. That did not actually do the trick. I'm gonna <laughs> go back. Media library, add new. There we go. Sorry about that. Upload my fancy PDF and I'm gonna grab the URL that it gives me, which I can find just by clicking on it, by the way. Okay, I did that. Let's go back. Some fancy PDF. There we go. I'm gonna click on it. Oh, it's processing, whatever. I'm gonna copy the file URL and then in my email, I'm gonna do rich set accessor, custom HTML, Classic drag and drop, new drag and drop. I don't really know what this stuff is, but I'm just gonna do a really simple 
rich text editor right here, and I'm gonna link them to that PDF. Like, click here to download your freebie. Write your content here. I would do like a nice little welcome message, and then eventually I would say something like, click here to access your PDF. And I'm going to sign off, just give some context. I'm gonna highlight that. Control K or Command K to bring up paste in a link. Control V, URL. I'm not gonna do that. Target, new window, yeah, why not? Okay, and then I would hit done editing. And then I'm done. You know, I would put your own stuff in there or whatnot. But that's it. Now I'm gonna activate the workflow. Once this is done, it's gonna update. I'm gonna turn it on, and then I'm gonna embed it, and then I'm done, literally. So, it's uh, doing some crazy slow stuff. But I think I could probably just go ahead and smash that button, turn it on, the workflow is on. So, back to automation. Again, I might be messing up. It looks like it was loading some stuff. Oh, maybe not, freebie, on. And I'm now done. I go back to the form, which I already have here, right? Form settings. Uh, again, you can go back in and edit the form. You can change around a bunch of the confirmation page, thank you page stuff here. I'm not gonna do any of that right now. I'm gonna turn double opt-in off, but I might actually leave it on if this were real life. I could copy this and just share it, or I could copy and paste stuff in. If you want to copy and paste this MailerLite Universal on every page of your site, you would do that with a plugin like insert headers or footers, or if you're using Genesis, it's in the Genesis theme settings. That will put this little snippet on every page of your site, and then you could just put this little thing in wherever you wanted the form to be. You could do that if you're even lazier and you're not gonna use it a whole lot, or you're putting it just in a sidebar or something like that, you could just switch over here to HTML code. It's super long, by the way, you see how long this is, but you could just do it this way. We're gonna copy to clipboard, I think it copied there. We'll say I wrote a new post, I wanted to include it at the bottom. A few ways to do this. One, you could just do new post right here. Here's some content. Leave a comment below, etc. And then maybe do like a little custom HTML thing. Custom HTML. Copy and paste that code in. And then I'm going to save draft and preview. We're going to see what this looks like. Uh, did I actually confirm the site at all? I don't think so. Well, there it is. It worked right there. Pretty handy. You can also do a WordPress plugin, right? So you could go to plugins, add new. I believe it's available from here. It might be available via download uh, somewhere down here. I don't know, show pop up on click event. That's also a really, really handy feature. You could just have a button on your site that makes it pop up with the opt-in form. Super fancy, right? MailerLite. I'd probably do this and official MailerLite sign up forms. I'd probably just do that. I would install right there, and then you can use short codes and stuff like that to install on pages. But I like the, the embed. So that's it. This email, or this email, this video is absolutely done. I just walked through how to very quickly get a form up and running, get an automation that delivers a separate email, and you could do other stuff to that automation workflow. Like you could oh, wait another day or two and then send a follow-up email. Hey, did you get my PDF and download it? Just make it sure. Right, you could do all sorts of fancy stuff from there. You can add a tag this way, that would be nice, like to uh, somehow label your subscribers as having received it or whatnot. And you could probably even do that to see if they've opened it. I'm not positive, I've actually never done that in MailerLite. It's still loading and whatnot. Uh, that's kind of odd, but I'm gonna leave that for now. Oh, back to automation, and eh, it didn't matter. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video, of course. If you're watching this on Facebook Live, Thank you for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit smash on that like button and then subscribe and drop me a 300 word comment below to help the YouTube algorithms. No, I'm joking. But please uh, feel free to follow along if you like this video and any other technical videos when it comes to blogging or digital marketing. I'm here for you, mate. Thank you for watching, blogger. I'll see you guys next time. Let me know if you have any other questions about MailerLite or any of the other email marketing software that you have. Shoot me an email at pete at doevenblog.com. I would be happy to answer any questions you might have. And that's all I got. Thank you for watching.